Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. I am Booger, if it's your first time here. We're gonna do a review of Tenda Bake Southern Style Seasoned Flour Coating Mix. Uh, it's bake or fry. Didn't say air fryer, but we're going there. For chicken, chopped, seafood, steak, vegetables, and mix for gravy, so hey. I got this at an IGA, if anybody's wondering. I think it was a buck something, I can't remember, but that's where I got it. So it says for <clears throat> chops, usually uh, soak it in milk. I didn't have any milk, that's half and half, you know, whatever. And then um, I got another dish here that we're gonna put this in and coat our pork chops. The pork chops that I'm using are tenderloin, slices i buy a big loaf of it and cut it up in slices and then vacuum seal it so hang on be right back okay sorry the husband came home say hi to everybody tom hi everyone okay so oh it smells good i can smell garlic in there for some reason it's a light floured little batter it smells good so let's check it out it's not gonna take much that's not even half the bag all right so I've got the pan that has a paddle, but I took the paddle out. I'm gonna spray in the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna spray some olive oil that I have in this Evo sprayer. There's always a link of this in the description if you're interested. So I'm just gonna spray the bottom of that. I'm gonna take one of these medallions and we're gonna go in the milk. It's just, you know, Tom and I, so two pieces is enough. It's nice coating pretty nice so a very light flour coating it smells good all right so i'm gonna lay this in the pan i'm gonna do the other one and we'll change the angle to the air fryer and i'll be right back okay so my rule of thumb is i don't spray the tops if it has a batter of any kind i spray it five minutes after it's cooking that way that flour is not going to flake off there when i spray that oil so we're going to put the top and bottom on at four because pretty much we're like pan frying so let me do that for five minutes and I'm gonna spray it again with this, the top, and uh, I'll let you know how long it cooks at the end. We'll be back. All right, so usually when you do pork chops like this, it's like six, seven minutes per side. I don't have to flip nothing with the deloney. It's got a bottom burner, no worries. So I cooked it for about 13, 14 minutes. It's time to taste. It looks good. The coating did a beautiful job. Perfectly cooked, still piping hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's a lovely coating. Flavor wise, not much going on there. I mean, I taste. A little pepper I don't know why some garlic it's got salt garlic see garlic powder black pepper see onion powder I didn't even read that stuff I'm just looking at it right now look one aloe and carb 3% 10 grams but hey it's good it's not bad it shows all the vegetables you can do with it I like it I mean it's not salty at all, so I'd probably add a little bit of salt to it. Not much, though. I think it's good as is. This would be good on shrimp, and but pork chops is really good, too. So there you go. I'm going to give this, out of a five, hmm, how well it did in the air fryer and the seasonings in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a good 4.3-ish. So that's, uh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Only because I like a little bit more zing to it, but it's good. You hear Marvin Wyvin in the background? He smells pork chops, doesn't he? All right. Well, thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.